Hey, I'm Andy Ador, and this edition of In Deep is called Shuffling Kings. We're going to be looking at shuffle rhythm guitar parts as played by some of the most important blues guitar players in history. And we're going to have a part one and a part two. So this is part one. In part one, we're going to look at essential rhythm guitar parts played in the shuffle rhythm in the style of Jimmy Reed, Lightning Hopkins, and Muddy Waters. Here we go. This first example is played in the style of Jimmy Reed. He's known for these slow, lazy Chicago style shuffles like Baby What You Want Me To Do. And this is in that style. It's a 12 bar blues in the key of E, so the one chord is E. And we just go from root fifth to root sixth on the bottom. That kind of a deal. Four chord is A. Same thing, root fifth, an A and an E note, and then an A and an F sharp is root sixth. And then the five chord is B, but the typical Jimmy Reed twist is you don't put a B note on the bottom. You just slide up to play the two notes of a B bar chord at the fourth fret, and then you just use the A bass note. This little funny little figure has been uh, the subject of a lot of conjecture at different points in history. Keith Richards talks about in his book, trying to understand why it sounded so weird and figure out what Jimmy Reed was doing. Some people think it's out of pure laziness, but <laughs> be that as it may, it ends up being the dominant seventh is in the bass. It just has a very unique sound and it's cool. So to get to what I play in particular, I'm also finger picking. Jimmy Reed used a thumb pick and picked with his fingers. So I'm just finger picking. You could also hybrid pick if you want to, to get the pick attack the way he did when he used his thumb. So that's how I start. This is a double hammer on on the D string. And then I'm gonna pick the low E and the G at the same time. The G's open and then I trill. And then I keep it on. And then pick the high E string. And then right to the root six. And this is another Jimmy Reedism. The last eighth note in the bar. This little rake up, it's a great rhythmic sound. Okay, so right there, the end of bar four, that little to get into the four chord. Another trill to set up the change back to the E. So there's your B7 with A in the bass. And then this little lick based on the E blues scale. time. So this here, there's your E blue scale. 
If you're gonna hammer every time. And I really like that too on the B7. You use that open D string and trill onto the major third D sharp of B. And then that kicks off the sequence again. As you can see, I'm using a capo in this example. Jimmy Reed used a capo a lot to change keys. So he played everything the same way as if it was an E. So with the capo at the first fret, we're sounding concert pitch F, just like on the song, You Don't Have to Go. You hear him doing that. Another good example is a Bright Lights, Big City. He's up with the capo at the fifth fret. So, the little twist from the first example is there's a little bit more of a melodic element happening on the higher strings. So I go one, two, three. So that little. Like that. And you can see I'm using my index finger for the higher strings with sort of an upstroke and the thumb for the lower strings. As I said before, Jimmy Reed used the thumb pick. To A. And then right there at the end. It seems simple, it is simple. But it's cool, it gives it a little rhythmic boost there. There's the open G in the D string. And now, here again for the five chord, it's just instead of root fifth, it's flat seven fifth. because Jimmy just liked doing it that way. And he put this minor third, major third for what we'll call transposing a B chord. That is if we were to think of it without the capo on. It sounds a concert pitch C. A. So that little lick there. So that ends exactly the same way as the first example, except for this. And you hear Johnny Winter, Eric Clapton, Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, everybody learned these licks from listening to Jimmy Reed. And there's our little tro with the B7 again. And then we bring that melody back in. 